Hey, many of you have been following the Steubenville rape trial. Verdict has been sentenced. Both teens found guilty, potentially served up till 21 years of age in juvenile jail. And give me your comments on this. Hit the like button if you believe that the guilty verdict was correct, that it was justice for this young lady who was a victim where you, many of you know the story was paraded around. Obviously, she was massively intoxicated. She don't really remember what happened. But I'm going to tell you the problem, friends, which really hits home is parental guidance. There are parents that are home in America, but they're not home. There's fathers that are home in America, but they're not home. They're not fathering these young men. They're not training and discipling them the way they should act and respect women. And, you know, I've worked with youth over two decades as a minister of the gospel, and some of the biggest challenges I had were generally not with the young people in the church, but the parents. The parents weren't parenting their children, and they weren't supervising them, and they weren't taking the authority, and they weren't taking the guidance, and they weren't taking the role, and they were escaping in la-la land. So the reality is, is that we all do have a Father in Heaven, God the Father, that loves us. He disciplines us as He sees fit in certain seasons of our life. And the parents aren't disciplining their children, and that's really the problem. These young men just think they can get away with anything because they're underage. They don't think they're gonna anything's going to happen to them because they know they think they can get away with it because they're underage, and they're football stars in this small community. But anyway, friends, just venting, just ranting. The Lord loves you. God, you do have a Father in Heaven that loves you, that cares for you. And, you know, the Bible's very clear. Now, again, I am a minister of the gospel, so that's how I bring the Word of God into this. The Bible's very clear in the book of John, 3rd chapter, 16 verse, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that if you would believe, receive Christ, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting life. And God desires no one to perish. God doesn't want to be your judge he wants to be your friend. The only way he can be, you've got to get on his side, man. You've got to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Christ comes by invitation only. He'll never crash, knock, or blow the door down to your heart. You know, God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will so we can accept him due to obedience or reject him due to disobedience. But the reality is, again, is God didn't create robots. He gave us all a free will. Desire to recite a simple prayer after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, you're more than welcome to. Also, under the search Rob Wood 1, I do have many of the ministry videos where I expound. I talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But give me your, uh, your opinion on this, the verdict. Both boys, uh, verdict guilty. Let me know if you think that was correct. Hit the like button. Give me a comment. The Lord loves you. Be blessed, friends. God bless you.